To understand how hair grows, let's look at the hair cycle and its different phases. Natural hair growth cycle has three phases. Anagen or growth phase, catagen or regression phase, telogen or resting phase. Cells of the hair matrix responsible for hair growth and receive nutrients from the capillary loop from dermal papillae. During the anagen phase or growth phase, the hair matrix actively proliferates new cells. New cells pushed upward and they differentiate to produce hair shaft. Up to 85% of hairs in normal scalp hair in this stage, after 2 to 6 years of anagen phase hair, follicle merges into cartagen phase. In this phase, matrix cells cease their activity, hair growth stops. Base of the hair shaft migrates away from the papillary blood supply. You can appreciate how the hair follicle and dermal papillae begin to shrink in this phase. Finally, hair follicle detach from its blood supply. Cartagen phase lasts for two weeks. Up to 1% of hairs in a normal scalp hair in this stage. Third step of the hair cycle is the telogen phase, where the hair follicles transit from the cartagen phase to the telogen phase. In the telogen phase, where hair transferred into clubbed hair and migrate up in hair sheath, they lack root sheath. Resting phase lasts for 1-4 to four months, up to 10% of hairs in a normal scalp hair in this stage. At the end, hair follicles grasp the papillae and blood supplies reconnects. New hair grows, old clubbed hair falls as the new hair grows to the same depth as in the previous cycle. Hair length depends on the duration of the anagen phase. Short hair in eyelashes, hair on arms and legs have short anagen around one month. Hair can be divided into two major parts, the hair follicle and the hair shaft. Despite its shine, body and texture is a dead structure from the outside to the inside. The hair shaft is divided into three layers known as the cuticle, cortex and medulla. The cuticle is composed of keratin and consists of layers of scales overlapping one another, just like tiles on a roof. The cuticle encircles the cortex and protects the salt cortex. Normally, cuticles are transparent like fish scales. The hair appearance depends on the health of the cuticle. When the cuticle is strong and healthy, hair appears to be strong and healthy also. Cuticle shields against harmful environmental elements. When cuticle scales are open, substances can be deposited in their structure. Physical chemical manipulation of the scales of the cuticle change in the appearance of hair. Chemical manipulations can result in changes in softness, colour and texture of the hair. The cortex middle layer of the hair accounts for most of the hair shaft bulk. It is nearly 85 to 90%. It is responsible for the great tensile strength of the hair and allowing to stretch. Keratin is the most abundant protein in the hair shaft. Cortex strongly affects the colour and shine of hair fibre. Having a healthy cortex is very important. The medulla, the innermost structure of hair, plays little or no role in hair cosmetics. We are going inside a hair shaft. There are three types of bonds in the hair. Hydrogen bonds, electrostatic salt linkages bonds, and covalent bonds. These bonds hold different keratin proteins together, giving strength to the hair fibre. Weaker bonds, such as hydrogen bonds, can be easily broken and reconnected. Have you ever thought that you did this when you were styling wet hair using a brush or curlers? It is temporary. Air will gradually absorb moisture from the air, allowing the hydrogen bonds to break and reconnect, again becoming uncombed hair. Physical and mechanical properties of hair fibre are changed by permanent waving, bleaching or dyeing. Waving is a complex process. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.